So welcome to this video, welcome to the first video of this uh, ITB engine series. A couple of months ago I started on building my own ITB engine for my MX-5 Miata. And I, uh, I started with a MX-5 MB bottom end, uh, which I completely rebuilt it and modified. Uh, well, made for an individual throttle body setup. So it has some forced internals to uh, make it rev high without blowing up. Uh, and, uh, and also got some supporting mods like camshafts, uh, different lifters. Uh, different rods, pistons had to be modified, the head got skimmed, the deck got skimmed, uh, quite a lot, uh, a lot of processes has been involved as well as a lot of uh, do-it-yourself ways to modify your engine so that's going to be interesting uh, so think of honing the cylinders, uh, triangle valve job, a do-it-yourself way to do that, cam timing so uh, a lot of things will be covered that's uh, what you can expect for these series basically so for this first video I'm just going to strip down the engine, it's a 1.6 MB bottom end and first I'm going to clean it because it's really really dirty. So these are some shots from a couple of months ago and uh, well let's get started, enjoy the first video and stay tuned for more. So there we go, nice and clean again, ready for disassembly. Slowly play it loose. Try, I mean, praying, praying and prying. Just slowly without bending it. And 
there we go. So it's definitely a bit hard to get out on the engine stand, but it is doable. So now that this thing is out, we can take out the crank. And it's a bit sad that the woodruff key is completely worn out, as you can see. Because the crank is in very good shape, so maybe there's a way to repair this but I'm not sure yet but I'm probably gonna end up and use another crank in this engine so there we go crank is out now the rods and pistons the rods and pistons can come out so usually this is a bit tricky on a used engine since there's like a uh, edge of carbon build up and there comes the bedding but there's like a edge of carbon build up in this upper edge where the piston ring doesn't come so we kind of have to push through that doesn't feel right but kind of have to make sure you don't stretch up the cylinder so there we go there's the first piston it's a bit dirty, but it seems to be in a very good shape. As you can see, this is actually this here, all this black carbon buildup. It's actually blow by from the rings, so there's actually combustion gases passing the rings down here. Might be some sludge from the oil also. But for the rest they look pretty good, basically almost no scratches, looks good, we might end up reusing these, maybe not in this engine but in some other engine. First thing I'm gonna do is put the cap back on, hope it starts. Number four. This is number one. And if you're not sure which way it went on, there's always like a little mark on here where you can see if they if you put them together, this line will match up. So in case you do want to reuse the bearings, make sure you take them out and put them on the right place too. It definitely, definitely makes sense to put it on the same place as where they came out of. So in this case I'm not going to reuse them so I don't really worry about them. We'll end up throwing them, throwing them away. But if you want to reuse them, 
just make sure they're on the same place as where they came out of and make sure they're in good shape of course so there we go cylinders are unbelievable it's full of oil now but they're, they're in very good shape I already measured them with pistons still in there but just had enough space to measure them and they're like yeah, basically on the, the size that they came out of the factory with so they are, they are in perfect shape so probably don't have to redrill them only gonna give them a quick hone but yeah for now we're gonna gonna have to clean the engine again send blast it make it ready for paint do need to take these oil squirters out so yeah there we go it's empty engine so i'm gonna end the first video here uh, like i said in the next video we're gonna be uh, sandblasting and painting the engine uh, gonna be honing the cylinders uh, basically prep the whole block itself um, so yeah stay tuned for that thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one